あ、みなさん、こんにちは。元気<笑> uh, ?My name is Ordinary, the first virtual YouTuber for my key life. And welcome back to Student Union. So, last episode, we spent our evening with Onesan. <laughs> And our organization is officially formed. And I believe I almost in the... Uh, The, at the end of the demo, so I cannot wait to see the end, to see what uh, what will what's going on later <laughs> in the full game. Um, and also, I believe uh, this video will come up after the Kickstarter campaign is already over, but you can still uh, still try the demo. So I will put the link in the description. Go check them out. And so yeah, let's continue our journey. So this is the last time we uh, end the episode after the uh, the student union was formed. I should be satisfied. It's an outcome I wanted. But I'm uncomfortable. Like a weight is pressing down on my chest. Why, is, uh, why are you feeling like that? Like my skin doesn't fit. Ah, oh, that's the worst feeling ever. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel like that, and it's you cannot tear uh tear off your skin, but I still feel uncomfortable. My head hurts, and I'm exhausted. Well, you haven't rest uh, like actual proper proper rest. I skip lunch again, attended the day's classes, and show up from cleaning duty. Don't skip lunch. That's not good. Alice and Holly took the first floor for the afternoon. It's the near end of the first shift, and I. Okay, <laughs> I fucking told you already. Underwood said I'm supposed to clean too, since I'm coming back early. I'm stuck with this guy. Can I, and I stand outside the bathrooms? Oh come on, can it's not that bad? No, I'm asking why you want to clean with me, with Italic. And leave you alone with the girls. Fat chance. <laughs> well, uh, something spicy happened when me and Holly alone. So can understand. <laughs> oh, am I dangerous? He shoved a bucket of dirty water into my hand. A swampy wave sloshed the front of my shirt. Oh, that's gross. Which of these you want you wanna start with? <laughs> I grimace a look at the bathroom doors. Neither. We really shouldn't have put this off until the end of the week. No shit. <laughs> oh what a wonderful toilet. I smile weakly at the pan. Can props the the door open and we start depressing su uh, supplies and wiping the porcelain. A few minutes pass. I glance at Ken. He's working faster than I am. At least you are not lazy. Well, he, he doesn't look like a lazy type person. He returns the glance. You mounting off again? I'm just saying that it's nice to actually get help for a change. You know, your body stuck his neck out pretty far from for your dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Evan, how so? Kane shakes his head and washes his hands. 
shaking my head. He's loyal. That's all. Like a cute dog. <laughs> cute puppy, I guess. <laughs> Silence. I move away from one of the stalls a minute later and catch Ken leaning against the wall. So, right after a compliment, you decide to stop. Finish my half. <laughs> he flicks his wrist. Wears. I'm sorry. <laughs> to the side he was working earlier. Sure enough, he completed everything. Damn. He's uh. He's fast. <laughs> Speed running, cleaning all the bathroom stalls. Well, don't wait around on my account. We don't have all night. Then hurry up. Hayaku. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. He doesn't budge. I hesitate. Think better of it and go back to my test. Another silence. So... Holy in still in her rut, huh? What? You implied she's not helping. I guess... I kind of... <coughs> Excuse me? I kind of strong arm her into joining. I rinse my, I rinse my hands at the sink. I told her she can take it easy than us if she wants. That's not helping her. I guess. I don't know. People grieve differently, right? Let's go to the girl's side. On the other hand, the girl's toilet looks clean. Looks neat, looks new. <laughs> What are you boys doing at the bathroom? We transition to the other restroom and resume our walk. I notice the, st the sun is starting to set through the pro prop entrance. It's getting late. Don't even pretend like you got shit to do. I have, uh, I have something to do actually. We promised to meet with Principal Decker today. Miss Webb usually waits for me. I'm gonna send her a message to tell her not to wait up. Why are you smiling? Oh, <laughs> Miss Webb? Oh, hell yeah! She's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Give me her number. What? No. He snatched my phone from my pocket. Damn, that's rude. <laughs> hey. I reach for it, but he keeps me back. I decide not to protest anymore. What else I can really do? Well, I still like Ken. You know, uh... Yeah, like I said, he's hundred percent. I can feel that. After watching him fiddle with my phone for a while, I hold out my hand. Can I please have my phone back? Say, pretty please. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna be cross dress for you later tonight, Kane? To satisfy your kinky stuff I refuse and wait he slapped it I'm sorry he slaps it into my hand stinging my palm damn <laughs> I go ahead and let me swap know I'm staying late tonight and that she shouldn't wait triple dot 
we both clean more, but after a few minutes, I hear him mumble. Oh, what? You have Alice's number? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah? Did you ask for it? No, she gave it to me because we were competing for the president role. Kate becomes quieter after that. Oh, he, he has something with, still has something with Alice. But I don't think it's love. I don't know. He finishes before me again and waits. If I don't assert myself, I'm sure he'll keep pushing me around. I kind of need it, you know? Do you have any uh, an issue with it? No? I don't give a fuck. Why will I? Well, sorry for swearing, Susan. <laughs> I just want to be 100%, uh, I guess. I stare at him. You think I'm sore about it? Because I give you that tiny shove? And put me in the hospital? <laughs> I guess it's not Ken, it's the glass behind you. <laughs> Aren't you? No. It was fucking mutual. She's insane. Impossible to satisfy. Yeah, I guess. At least has high ambi ambition. Deep issues. What sort of issues? I'm curious. Matasi kini narimas. Another silence. A rational voice in my head tells me to just let it go at that, even would, but I'm not even. Oh. And it had nothing to do with you? Why would it? I hold my hands up, yielding. No, no. It's just a question. Yeah, from some nobody. Oh, Ken's getting pissed. Whatever, man. Move. Let's go clean someone else. Oh, he he doesn't like that. He blocks the doorway. Some dirt poor kid they spread for a dollar. Everyone sees through you. That's rude. <laughs> You're not cool. You're not slick. You sit around on your little pity potty. Ooh. It is, or, is it me or is getting hot in here? <laughs> Somebody getting gross? Okay, whatever. Let's just go. I don't want to fight. Because you lose. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yes, Ken, you fucking idiot. Of course, I lose. Move. <laughs> An idiot, huh? You're such a field. I don't even know why I am helping you. All is for the punishment. You done? Need me to call Alice in here? Call your mom? <laughs> oh, okay, that's rude. Or how about your dad beat dad? Oh, I don't think he likes that. Yeah, <laughs> Ken kicks our bucket over, 
causing the door to close behind him. Nah, why don't we stay a while? Oh. My eyes dart around the room. Okay, this is getting dangerous. You don't want to actually die, Len. I throw the mob handle against my face while shoving past him with all my mic. He smacks it down, shouting after me before I sprint the hall. My heart pounds. Doki Doki. I hear him behind me, running after me. Oh, be careful. In my haste, I slip down the st stairwell and catch myself against the wall. I turn and continue the mad dash through the first fro floor corridors. Triple dot. Pressing around the corner, my hand catches on several locked doors. Oh, Jason, this is spooky. <laughs> I keep trying doors, my hands shaking wildly. Finally, I find a, an open room and spill it into it. I crawl behind the counter in the back and breathe slowly. Hand over my heart. Sneak time. Slow your breathing. You're fine. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Len, I flinch and look up. Oh, it's Principal Decker. Are you okay? What are you doing? Um, I... A game. She watched me intently. Me and my buddy are playing a game since we finished cleaning early. <laughs> Well, will she buy it? I was just about to come see you though, like I promised. She smiled at me with her familiar warmth. Oh, I don't like that question. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. This is very, uh, I feel something really dangerous around her. It's okay. Is it just to you, uh, you two left? I nod slowly. Let's go to my office then. Is that okay? I glance at the entrance to the cafeteria before taking her hand in mine and standing. Oh, sure. Okay. I look her up. And done. Is is something wrong? Why are you in here anyway? Yes, she's never in her room. <laughs> her calm smile persists. I told you, I often patrolled my school. Remember? Wait, we don't have a security guard as well? What? Yeah. She takes my words and leads me into the hall. Quickly, I look left and right, but there is no sign of Kane. Maybe he saw uh, Principal Decker and decided to escape. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but it's not Ken's fault in that uh, event, because uh, Len is the one who, like, pushed the buttons. So, I don't blame Ken. I mean, he, sh he, should, uh, he should have just kept quiet, I guess. I'm thankful to hide out in her office and close the door behind us. 
So, how are you and Mr. Andrew doing? <laughs> oh, that that small flinch in her face. <laughs> he shook. Principal Decker's face contorts for an instant. I mean contorts. I'm sorry. Let's talk about you first. Are you ready to open up to me? She rests, uh, she rests on her desk and I sit on her couch. It confirms to me comfor comfortably. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, she's not even hiding it, huh? Miss Decker pulls the wine bottle out of her desk and pours some into a thick rounded glass. She drinks. Please drink responsibly, folks. Okay, so why the sneaking around? It's gonna sound crazy, but it started right after I fell asleep for way too long earlier this week. I stayed late and heard some weird noises. Weird... how? I heard loud thuds and banging from this floor, and the school was locked down pretty tight. She's blushing! Is that you? <laughs> Are you doing all this? Miss Taker pours wine into glass matching her own, and offers it to me. Why? Mistaker, I'm not allowed to drink. I'm still under 21. Oh, she's getting flirty, what the hell? Call me Briar. I thought you said you were an adult. That's uh, still drink responsibly, folks. Reluctantly, I take the glass and drink. It tastes sweet. Still prefer vodka? I didn't find anything. I just went home with Miss Webb at na that night. Wait, did she drink the wine? Oh yeah, she drink it first. So. I'm sure there is no like sleeping drug in it. Hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, I'm overthinking. But I keep hearing things, and I think it's probably just disorientation. Yeah, disorientation from this bomb. I gesture to the stitches hidden under my bandage. The one you friend, your friend gave you is the glass I smile okay okay we are not really friends I just know him from running track last year I got on the wrong side of his girlfriend and now I am losing my mind <laughs> Miss Decker knocks our glass together High school sure is a pain, isn't it? You mean like uh, as a high schooler or handling high school students? Miss Decker? Briar? You can say that again. Thanks a lot. Um, Briar? Why are you blushing as well? <laughs> you get in the mood? She giggles? Oh, that makes an old lady happy. <laughs> oh, mom figure. Keep going. Why were you in the library to begin with? Oh, is she tries to make me drunk so I spill something that I shouldn't? Uh, you're not that old. I was um. 
Sleeping truck. Or I'm just uh like like drinker. Are you okay? I not quickly. Mm hmm Well, okay. Completely honest. I thought you and Mr. Underwood were up to something shady. I guess it was an instinct. Well, I still believe that. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Really? You have good instincts. Because you're right. <laughs> oh, damn. Huh? Is she gonna say that? Please don't. Oh. I thought she's gonna say, oh, because you're right, and then somebody hit me from the behind again. <laughs> Since we are having an affair, is the wine good? It's a merlot. Are you really drunk me? I take another big drink. Oh, I don't trust her. Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm feeling pretty tired. Sorry. Oh! No, 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 no. <laughs> Miss Decker rubs my chest with her gentle hand. Whoa. Damn, she's cute. Wine is a uh, soporific. Do you know that word? No, this is the first time I heard that. Well, to be fair, English is not my uh, first language. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know that. I look down at her hazily, my face flush. Um, it's sleeping in... Sleeping inducing. Are you doing it on purpose? She keeps rubbing me sensually. Okay, I don't trust her. It's uh, it sticks my uh every alerts in my body. <laughs> That's right, smart boy. You can rest on my couch while I tied you up with these handcuffs <laughs> and rope. My eyes feel heavy, but my stomach aches. Actually, it's painful. A slow burn. I push her back weakly, but she persists. Her hand traveling down my stomach. Bad touch. No, that's bad touch. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> Please, will you, um, you need to what? She placed her fingertips on my lips. She, <laughs> daijobu, <laughs> mama will take care of you. <laughs> oh no. But my skin is tingling. Isn't it? Something isn't right. Now you realize that. I resist with more force, but she holds my shoulders down with lean in pressure. A principal decker. Briar. Oh no, what? What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, Briar, I need to go to the restroom. Badly. I'm really sorry. I think it's cause of the wine. On an empty, uh, on an empty stomach, I skip lunch. Oh what? Why don't you eat me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Her expression flattens. 
Sonanoka. <laughs> Is that so? You should stay. I insist. Oh, my guts feel like they are on fire. Shit, it hurts. I push her back, my hands sinking into her ample bosom <laughs> without regard for politeness. Uh, I'll be right back. BRB. <laughs> Wait! I jog out the door. Empty wine glass still in my head, hand. Noticing this, I put it on the ground. I push down the boys' bathroom clumsily. I miss the light switch and run strike in. Oh, oh my god, I have a bad feeling. I really had toilets in this scenario. It hurts really hurts what's going on i shove my forefinger into my throat and vomit into the sink what is she really trying to poison me or is this just because i'm so weak right now an ugly mixture of wine and blood the smell of cover sorry Copper waves back at me from the porcelain. Oh my god, but it still hurts like fire, and I grip my chest tightly. I'm sweating. I'm sweating in real life too. <laughs> Triple dot. As I lay my hand against the mirror and breathe slowly, collecting my thoughts, thoughts. I'm sorry, <laughs> I hear shouting outside the bathroom. It sounds like Miss Decker. I wipe my mouth with my sleeve and exit. My legs as are, are still shaking, and I'm only getting worse with time. Ken is holding Principal Decker back from entering the bathroom. Get out of my way. He's sick and needs help. Oh, what? Ken shoves her back by the shoulders. I think you are the one that needs help. Uh, I'll call the police. Do it then. Damn, Ken. I don't know, I feel like Ken's protecting me. I don't know why. In my heart, I trust Ken, I, and I'm... I'm not trusting uh, Miss Decker. So, in maybe I'm wrong, but in this scenario, I feel like Ken's protecting me right now. Miss Decker sees me. Len, tell him. You're sick. Uh, she's right. I think I need to call 911. With shaking hands, I pull out my phone, only to fumble it to the ground. No, stop. You just need some rest. Oh, why? Why won't you me call the ambulance? So they won't. Uh. Trace the the poison in the wine. Miss Decker scrambles from my phone. What the fuck are you doing, lady? Oh, oh, this is getting intense. Ken grabs her aggressively, pinning her against the locker. Oh, oh my God, that's intense. Actually, Miss Decker is kinda short. I thought she is tall. She resists and uh, and his grip tight tightens. Ken, stop! What the hell? Ken looks at back at me quickly. What did you have? 
just a glass of wine. Oof. Ow! It's a tete. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm not gonna joke for a while. It's getting intense. Pain deep in my gut caused me to lean against the cockboard. I've had wine. It doesn't do that. Actually, yeah, I also have wine, and I don't like the taste. Oh, what did you put in it? He glares at Miss Decker, whose eyes are welling with tears as he fights against him. You're hurting me. Ken raises his voice and pulls her hair. Oh, that's getting violent. What the fuck did you do? The little guy was right. I know you're up to something when you told me to give Len his damn schedule. What? <laughs> yeah, I said it. What? Let go of me, or I'm kind calling the cops. Not going to admit it. Fine. <coughs> I'm sorry. Fine. Kane grabs her arm and squeezes. I'll break your fucking hand if you don't admit you spiked that wine. Kane, no! I knew it! I don't trust Miss Decker for any seconds. Uh, ow! Stop! Stop it! Please! Fucking say it! But yeah, if Kane's wrong, he's gonna be in a really bad situation, but... Nah, I trust Kane! Go for it, homie! Uh, I spiked the wine! Oh, why? Kane doesn't relent as tears begin streaming down her face. Is he going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? I don't know. I'm hyperventilating. Since she doesn't respond, he yanks her hair and she yelps. Is he going to fucking die? Say something, damn it! <laughs> oh, I love this. She's unable to answer through her sobs. Ken locates her his locker and pulls it open. Oh wow! Oh! 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 No! Okay, Ken, that's too much. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I think that's too much, Kane. He shoves her fingers inside the gap and slams it close with no hesitation. A blood curdling scream, so loud it hurts my ears. Oh! Oh no! 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 Oh! No! My hands hurt. Oh! 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 He slams the metal locker door against her broken fingers again and again. Warping the bones in her hand and splattering blood down the side of the locker. Oh, this is not a prank anymore. With recipe braids, she screams for him to stop. Oh, tell me something then. Oh, no, no, stop. That's too much. She flails in his grabs as he disfigures her hand with a wild fury.
Uh, he, he won't die. He didn't eat. Kane looks back at me. What didn't you eat? Oh, Tesser. Before I can respond, Decker lifts a small black rectangle and shove it against Kane's chest. Oh, that must be hard. He re releases her instantly and goes rigid. A stun gun. Crumbling to the ground, she overtakes him. Oh. Knock prone. Uh, stop! Uh, just stop! My voice is drowned out by Kane's shout. Deckers continues applying the current directly to Kane's chest above, above his heart. No! Uh, uh, that's enough! That's... Uh, stop! Kane's body confuses weakly on the ground and foam spills from the edge of his mouth. She's not going to stop. S she's not listening. She's his blood. I mean, she's his red. I fall forward, tripping over my weak limbs. I can't even stand straight. But I have to do something. Hopefully, the girls is not went home yet, so she could, uh, they could settle this mess. I grab the wine glass and run to them. As fast as I can. Oh wow! Falling forward, I break the glass over Miss Decker's head. Oh, what's going on? How could this happen? Shard skid along the floor for the force. Instinctively, she drops the stun gun and leaves her torso in a daze. On the ground, Ken clutches his heart with his hand and grasp. He desperately kicks her away. Oh, this is not just good old drama prank anymore. His foot presses into her thigh and she stumbles sideways to the stairs. Oh, look at that broken fingers. Ah, oh, that looks painful, man. I can feel it. The edge of her foot miss the steps of the stairwell. What the? Her broken fingers grope for the railing, but it yields to her touch. She flips over the edge, her legs flinging into the air. Oh fuck, no! At first, she falls between the flags. Ow! Oh. oh, judging for the sound, I don't like. I don't like what's going. Uh, what's going to happen? An impact against the railing echo echoes, followed by a dull thud. After that, there is no sound. Nothing. Ken and I look at each other in horror. Oh my god, I don't want to click more. Oh, my hand's shaking. Carefully, I move to the edge and look down. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I got jump scared. Oh. I already expected, but I'm still scared. Oh my god, I'm so weak at horror games. I'm so sorry if I scare you guys. A pool of blood gushes from Miss Decker's head. A wound obscured by her hair. I can't register this. I want to ask her if she's okay, but I just stare. She 
is not moving. Oh, I probably gonna censor that. I'm sorry. Well, if you want to see the full, uh, you can play this, uh, play the game by yourself. Oh, that's fuck up, man. Oh. We killed her. Oh my god. Oh, that's... That's give so much hanging. Oh... Oh no... You know, I expect Miss Decker to be evil, but, but, oh, because I thought they said there is a, there is a root for Miss Decker, that means a, that's why I didn't expect her to die. Oh wow. It makes me speechless. That's oh that's really good. Now now I'm super curious about the mystery. Why would it, she drug me? What what did I knew? That she doesn't want me the other to know. And spike me at the end. And what did she and Kane talking about before? About the giving back the schedule. Why the schedule is important to me? Oh, well, it's back by itself. Oh, the music changed. Oh, wow. I still cannot recover from that. Wait, is there going something to happen if I continue the game or start the game? Okay. I'll check that. I'm gonna try to check if there, there is continuation of after this. Or this is actually the end of the demo. Oh, but damn. It's really makes me super curious about the mystery in this school I knew it there's a mystery around it I'm not crazy because uh, about the plot why Miss Decker wants to spike me or stuff oh wow I cannot wait for the full game to release damn okay I'm gonna check if there is something, uh, if there is more in the demo, so, BRB. Uh, alright. I check, uh, everything, I guess. And, I think there is nothing more to look at. I actually check the CG gallery. Uh, right now, there is no CG save in the, uh, in the file right now. But interestingly, the, the, uh, for the character, there is some sticky notes around it. Describe the personality and some backstory, I guess. And some of them isn't uh, isn't in the isn't in actual story. So it's just a new information in the CG. It's quite interesting. Also, they make it. As if it's a uh, cache file. So I assume it's it's created after this incident, I guess. <laughs> after, after that murder incident. So it's just cache file. Because the note is more like Yeah, more like a cache file. By a detective, I guess. 
that's that's really unique, and I'm sure uh, we will find out later in the future, in the game. But yeah, I guess this is the end of the journey. Should I say I enjoyed the game? Yeah, I should. It's really fun. My f uh, so let me give you my final thought. I really like the mystery around it because uh, I'm dig with some mystery and stuff. That's why uh, that's the reason I kind of rethink the story because I just want uh, to solve by uh, solve the mystery by myself. You know, <laughs> that's why I'm kind of suspicious with almost everyone, I guess, except Ken. I, actually, yeah, uh, I suspicions. Uh, I suspicious. Like I suspect everyone except Kane, because he just like feels like a hardest person, and at the end, he actually cares about me. You know about Lane, because he's he wants to went that far just to uh, just to see if uh, Lane's gonna be okay or not. Maybe uh, maybe Kane wants me to live with his own agenda, like his own reason. But for now. I believe he is scared about ma uh, about Lin. Yeah, everyone looks suspicious, like suspicious, but but yeah. Also, the character has uh, not just generic trope character, you know. Like everyone has the personality, and uh, they feel like human, you know, and the person and. The personality makes the dialogue, like the small dialogue, is interesting. Uh, the the thing I I'm not really like like I don't dislike it. I I, I just not uh, really like. Uh, it's it's kind of slow burn, you know. Like the the action starts really at the end, like at the first. Uh, the 90% of the demo is just slow burn, you know, uh, introducing the character, they interact each uh, with each other, you know, create the relationship, some fake drama happen in middle, but the actual stuff ex uh, happen at the end. But, I fucking knew it. I don't trust uh, Miss Decker at the, uh, from the beginning. And my suspicion was right, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I I cannot wait for the game. And since the uh, since the game already, you know, the it's already fully back in the, on Kickstarter. That means uh, it's most likely will come out in 2022. So I cannot wait to uh, to go back. At the fullest and play again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play it again uh, in the future. You know, when it's full, so we can experience it together. Because it's gonna be two years. I probably won't remember most of it, and maybe there's some change at the beginning. You know, at the demo or new small details. So I cannot wait for it to come out. Damn. I guess, uh, also I like the art style, you know, the background and the, the art character. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, uh, I actually like the the artist, uh, MZRZ. Is that how you call the, say the name? MZRZ, I guess. Uh, he's actually uh, my favorite artist. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I dig the art style. Everyone looks charming. Also, the music—it's—it's it's gives you in the mood. It gives you in uh in the mood of something fun or something intense. And again, as I especially love the story. You know, uh, I used to write some story and novel. That's why I'm kind of experienced in writing, I guess. And I appreciate the writing, it's really good. 
So, I guess that's it for uh, for right now. I thank you very much for the devs visual novel village. Really, I I really appreciate you to come up with me and introduce me to uh, to this wonderful game. I never expect I will be uh, I will enjoy this game as much as I do uh, as I feel right now. So thank you, and also I, I thank you guys for watching this video as usual. Thank you for following this journey until the end. Uh, if you do, please leave a like and subscribe. I really really appreciate it. You know, it's uh, and I'm gonna give you a spoiler. Uh, I'm working on a, a new video, <laughs> so expect for a new video right away. Not right away, I mean, like, uh, expect a new video soon. So, yeah, I see you guys later, and have a lucky day. Is that how you say it? <laughs> what do you think, Kochi? What? You 